गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन आर सोशल साइंस क्लास इन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ एन सी आर टी डेमोक्रेटिक पॉलिटिक्स चैप्टर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिज़ाइन टूडेज कंटेंट गाइडिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द ड्रीम एंड द प्रोमिस फिलासफी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिज़ाइन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रीवियस वीडियो देन वी हैव डिस्कस सम ऑफ द नेम Uh, the members those who were uh, involved in making of constitution but some of you may have noticed a name missing from the sketches of the makers of the constitution that was mahatma gandhi he was not a member of the constituent assembly yet there were many members who followed his vision years ago writing in his magazine young india in 1931 he had spelt out what he wanted the constitution to do here the words given by mahatma gandhi i shall strive for a constitution which will release india from all thraldom and patronage i shall work for an india in which the poorest shall feel that it is their country in who's making they have an effective voice an india in which there shall be no high class and low class of people an india in which all communities shall live in perfect harmony there can be no room in such an india for the curse of untouchability or the curse of intoxicating drinks and drugs women will enjoy the same rights as men i shall be satisfied with nothing else these are the words of mahatma gandhi this dream of an india that has eliminated inequality was shared by dr ambedkar who played a key role in the making of the constitution but he had a different understanding of how inequalities could be removed he often bitterly criticized mahatma gandhi and his vision finally let us turn to jawahar lal nehru giving his famous speech to the constituent assembly at the stroke of midnight on august 15 1947 the speech of jawahar lal nehru long years ago we made a choice with destiny and now the time comes when we shall we deem our pledge not wholly or in full measure but very substantially at the stroke of midnight hour when the world sleep india will awake to life and freedom so this is a long speech that is a part of um, jawaharlal nehru on the time midnight of august 15 1947 philosophy of the constitution values that inspired and guided the freedom struggle and were in turn nurtured by it formed the foundation for india's democracy these values are embedded in the preamble of the indian constitution they guide all the articles of indian constitution the constitution begins with a short statement of its basic values this is called the preamble to the constitution so this is the definition of preamble taking inspiration from american model most countries in the contemporary world have chosen to begin their constitution with a preamble so in short the preamble is considered as the introduction of constitution let us read the preamble of our constitution very carefully and understand the meaning of each of its keyword the importance of preamble the first point the preamble of the constitution reads like a poem on democracy second it contains the philosophy on which the entire constitution has been built third it provides a standard to examine and evaluate any law and action of government to find out whether it is good or bad and last 
it is the soul of the indian constitution here the preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved a constituent india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly the 26th day of november 1949 to hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution now the values which we pick up in this uh, preamble we are going to illustrate we the people of india means the constitution has been drawn up and enacted by the people through their representatives and not handed down to them by a king or any outside powers sovereign means people have supreme right to make decisions on internal as well as external matters no external power can uh, dictate the government of india through this picture you can understand our borders are secured by our security forces socialist meaning wealth is generated socially and should be shared equally by society government should regulate the ownership of land and industry to reduce socio economic inequalities secular mean citizens have complete freedom to follow any religion but there is no official religion government treats all religious beliefs and practices with equal respect hinduism jainism buddhism sikhism islam is or christianity all live in harmony in our country democratic mean a form of government where people enjoy equal political rights elect their rulers and hold them accountable the government is run according to some basic rules that a right to vote is kind of democratic system republic mean the head of the state is an elected person and not a hereditary position justice means citizens cannot be discriminated on the grounds of caste religion and gender social inequalities have to be reduced government should work for the welfare of all especially of the disadvantaged group this is uh, the law way that shows that justice equal for everyone liberty there are no unreasonable restrictions on the citizen in what they think how they wish to express their thoughts and the way they wish to follow up their thoughts in action liberty means freedom equality all are equal before the law the traditional social inequalities have to be ended the government should ensure equal opportunity for all the male and female both are treated equally in society fraternity all of us should behave as if we are members of the same family no one should treat a fellow citizen as inferior this picture shows us fraternity now next topic is institutional design a constitution is not merely a statement of values and philosophy as we noted our our constitution is mainly about embodying these values into institutional arrangements much of the document called constitution of india is about these arrangement it is a very long and detailed document therefore it needs to be amended quite regularly to keep it updated so meaning of constitutional amendment is a change in the constitution made by supreme legislative body in a country in our country it is parliament those who drafted the indian constitution now we are going to see um the indian constitution have some value the indian constitution lays down a procedure for choosing a person to govern the country 
it defines who will have how much power to take which decision it puts limits to what the government can do by providing some rights to the citizens that cannot be violated question related to the topic how has the indian constitution embodied the basic value into institutional arrangements define the following terms mentioned in preamble of the constitution of india sovereign secular liberty fraternity socialist republic equality and justice thank you very much that's all for today have a nice day